cool. We have her now. We're at the point of divergence. We have uh, just beaten, beaten Neil again. I'm trying. Uh, with pretty much all the ammunition we had available to you. us. This is you. You gotta open the store. I do? Cool. So this is where the story diverges to whether or not Moira survived or not for some asinine reason. So, Look, Neil's I, strong arm. he's I'm still strong. alive. He has Moira. And start slashing at it with our knife. And then, in his heart... Meanwhile, <laughs> alright. Wiggles. Uh, thunder thighs. <laughs> Sir Wiggles. So, now, Claire will go for her gun. Neil will do his little surprise attack. But, this is the same part we got into the under butt last time. So much under butt. And then we have this. And now I'm going to let Jake pick up the gun, because last time... Wait, why am I not doing anything? There we go. There you go. Alright, so, so Moira's going to run to it while Claire is wiggled. And the flashbacks. And Moira gets the gun. Come on, Toto. Wait, where did all that ammo come from? I don't know, but Ugh. here's her resignation. So, I wonder how that event now alters whether or not a building collapses on her. I know, right? So, there's that. Well, maybe it doesn't change that. Maybe it just gives us the good ending. Uh, well, like, the bad ending, like, springs from her being crushed by the ceiling. I mean, that's her. Like, there's a point in the story where she gets crushed by a ceiling. I don't think firing a gun at a boss is... Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe she gets out, but, you know, Claire doesn't. Uh... Yeah. How is that still a good ending? <laughs> Somebody still died. Alright, uh... Escape the factory with only one minute left. Sweet, we got a bunch of medals because we did this again. Sweet. Stealth attack. Complete, uh... Five sub-weapons by combining items. Recover Military boxes. Cool. Hey, we oh. got ass. Uh, yeah, it's just monster. Here's my resignation and unlocked Neil figure, which we probably still have to buy because they're not going to give us stuff. Cool. Look, we get ass. 757. Yeah. Represent. <laughs> People who don't know, we're, we're from the 757. Cool. But now we're coming to the boss fight. All right, we're at, that, we're at that point. We're at that point where clear our decision earlier will now affect whether or not Moira gets crushed by the ceiling. Which it looks like she still does. What the fuck? Okay, so it's the same so far. That's all the walkthrough said, right? It's just let her... I don't know. Hold on, let me double check that. No, like, we looked at it. Uh... I'm gonna pause. Looking it up. Because... In the walk that we looked at, it said, let Moira pick up the gun. Which we did. Oh. Continue. Okay, so this scene is the same. I'm getting you out of there. So I'm just supposed to go to the... No. I'm supposed to do my thing? You're yeah. Okay, so this is where it deviates. Instead of her... God, help me. Instead of her dying, she just doesn't. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, well, do your thing. Alright. Don't worry, because if this doesn't work, they're not seeing this episode. So... <laughs> and we're calling it quits. <laughs> okay, yeah, there was no, uh... No cutscene. Showing her transforming. Yeah. Okay, so... That's definitely different. That is different. 
Just defeat one glass with a knife. Hell. It's a one hit kill. <laughs> okay, so now we'll cut again to the boss fight. Wait, is that it? Did you get her? Yeah. yeah. High five. All right. Okay, cool. This so should be different. This, yeah, this should play out differently now. Yep, this is much different. No. Oh. And what happens here? There's a loading screen this time. Well, yeah, it went, it went to a pre-rendered. I swear, if we get the same shit again. Well, no, we, we fulfilled the one condition. Yeah, really. Like, the only thing it said to do was to let Moira use the gun. So... Who? That's different. That is pretty different. That's more, uh... I saw those gloves. Is it? Yeah, it wasn't Barry. <laughs> yeah, it is Moira. And she's using a gun. Oh, man. Moira! <laughs> Alright. Dad, I've been living here for six months. It's been hell. She has fucking survivor clothes now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so it took half a year. Fucking <laughs> technology. <laughs> technology. This is gonna be a a Burton family beatdown on a Wesker. Or was the that the Burton it? family beatdown? Oh shit! Oh, here we go. Let's just kill Moira right now too. <laughs> that would suck. Moira looks like she's a. Uh, where did she find food for six months? She's been eating zombies. Oh, probably the rats. Well, oh, that is a new form. Okay, well, guys, here's the beginning of the new episode. All right. Because uh, what you all saw there was the prologue. Now we really begin. Mario's looking pretty badass, actually. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is synchronized. Oh, she oh, is shit. electrified now. No, that's just full Ouroboros transformation. Don't trust it. Helicopters from Resident <laughs> Evil get shot down. Oh. Oh yeah. Let me see this bitch. Did she get a haircut? Yeah, she got a haircut. Cool. Neat. I can dig it. Moira, I'm so sorry. You were in trouble. You came back with a chopper. Yeah, I have a sniper rifle. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. So shut up. <laughs> Hey, at least I'm sorry back. I left you to die. You came back with weaponry. We're good. Yeah, really. So. Let me take care. Uh oh. Barry wants a piece of Wesker. Uh oh. Watch Resident Evil Seven. Oh, oh shit! Shit! You get the slow mo walk going. Be hilarious if I just edited my face over that as he's walking. <laughs> just. <laughs> I'll always need you. But for now. This is my Magnum, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I want Resident Evil 7 to be Barry. Oh, oh, shit. What? She's covering him from the chopper. Is he actually fighting with a Magnum? Do you actually get to fight her? Do I have infinite Magnum? Is that what this is going to do? Or do I have to have the five shots and then just and make bitch out? Uh-oh. Okay, well, well, this what may... What am I doing? I don't know. Am I doing anything? I don't mind... Why don't like, you just meet a single player accident? and I'm just like... <sighs> I will be fine with that. <laughs> Watch if you go to single player and I'm like, uh, I don't want this. Okay. I, I'd be okay with it. Boss battle for the true ending. Let's do this. Yeah. It's actually, oh, that scene though, of that, Barry walking away. Walk. Defeat Alex. Oh yeah, this is... Holy shit. So, are you in the helicopter? Am I? Yep, seems like it. Oh, okay, that was a realistic that was a realistic landing. Oh yeah, I'm in the chopper. <laughs> oh, this view is going to be very distorting. Where the fuck oh, there's barrels. Ow shit. She doesn't fuck around. Uh 
Oh, I should probably heal. God, her reach is ridiculous. And she's even angrier now. Oh, God. Oh, hey, tunnels. Oh, cool. I've got infinite. Nice. Okay, so that's what they're going to do for this part. I have to just lead her to... I have to soften her up in the tunnels. And you're going to have to pick her off from the chopper. Alright. Once she comes down, just uh, barrel it. If I could. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you were on the thing. She just knocked out. Okay, you have to just aim for that. <laughs> I was, I was trying. I was really trying. Okay, so this is pretty badass. <laughs> this is amazing. It's just now it's it's is sort of on me to to not die. Okay, so we have to watch this uh, cutscene. I'm honestly okay with this. She is very gray and slimy. She let the Earl Bars take over. Yeah. Yeah. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Okay, so I'm gonna lead her over. I don't think you can hit that barrel, though. We'll see. In the so. This is so fucking intense, and I love it. Okay, good shot. <laughs> I'm gonna just head into the tunnels here. Should chill the spine a little. Oh, I think I know. What's I think I know what I should do. Red barrel her to death. Well, there was two ways I can leave. I think I went the bad way. So I'm gonna head further down. Oh, that's a dead end. Shit. A magnum ammo. Oh god. What's the point of an invasion if it doesn't evade? Coming out. I'm gonna walk across so you get on the barrel. I got her. Ah, I don't got her. There's another barrel. Good job. Woo! Oof. Magnum? Where's, Where's the, the big gun? Break that shit out. Is it like, oh, 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 did it just disappear off the wall? All right, uh, hit her. God damn oh, it. Oh, god damn it. Not the shit. Okay. She's about to pull the trigger, too. It, it has a splash damage. Just fire it. <laughs> no, I was literally just about to pull the trigger. Where does it hit? Put it back in the beginning. God damn it. Okay, this is going to be annoying as fuck. <laughs> If it keeps dropping us back here. I like that dodge. <laughs> oh no. Just a little sidestep. Yep. You do that. Tumble, tumble, tumble. I'm actually going to... Put on the right gun. The one that I can actually shoot with because I have ammo. I'm going to come over here. And then I'm going to run. What the fuck? Barrel. Missed. You keep doing your thing. Just come down the tunnel after you. Yep. Yes. yes. <laughs> burn, bitch! <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Quick turnaround. We still have. Oh, she's pissed. <laughs> Just nailed it. That was a sick shot. That I was proud of that one. Okay, so I'm gonna take my time to reload. Yeah, I got her. Hit her with the magnum. Okay. I got this. Go the barrel? Yep, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go across. Okay. 
If it could not go to a cutscene every time, though. Alright, so she's burning. Um, just hit her. I'm back in the tunnels. Is that? Hope so. Is that it? Hope so. Did she just get red fielded? She got red fielded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, nice melting effect. I love it. Nice. Oh, that is beautiful. Red fielded. Oh, man. Oh. I like the Barry Claire team up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Where's Barry? He's gonna walk out of the smoke like a badass. Yeah! Yeah, he is. <laughs> that's my dad, and she's like, that's my brother's partner. <laughs> next to next to Jill. Oh man. So this is the true ending, Jake. Yay! We, we got it. it. We just had a five-hour marathon of playing this game to get here. Eh. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That actually t did not take as long as I thought it was. I thought we had to break that into two parts. Yeah. Just, uh... Oh. Claire's new haircut, though. I like it. Yeah. She's fucking, fucking Burton. Uh. You yeah, okay? Oh. What? BSA? Yeah. It's gotta be. So, They're not even gonna, gonna do tell us who they were. <laughs> it, it's probably the BSAA. Yeah, I mean, let's let these guys clean it up. Yeah. Also, it's, it, Claire's go probably go like, hey, Chris, I know you just had a, a thing going on in Africa, but you should probably uh, take care of this. <laughs> we blew up another Wesker. <laughs> uh, did, did he adopt her? That'd be nice. I think he did. I wasn't reading or listening. <laughs> so what? Uh, we still registering audio. Scrits. Oh. Uh. While the credits are going on, I'm going to check to see if we're still registering audio or not. Is it? Okay, cool, it is. Awesome. Cool! So that was the true ending. We did it. We finally fucking did it. <laughs> is there anything post-credits? Maybe? Can we... Is there the option to skip credits? Nope! There's not the option to skip credits. So I'm just going to chillax. Yeah. Oh, did you guys enjoy that? Did you enjoy the badassness of the last boss battle? You better have. Oh. That was just fucking sweet, actually. Oh my god, I loved it. It was just like a whole game of just do nothing. It's like, okay, we're gonna have Claire and Barry go at it. Yeah. With, uh, with Wesker. Just, uh. But yeah, I mean, Claire technically finished it, so another Wesker was red fielded. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the ongoing feud in this game. Anytime a Wesker shows up, there'll be a Redfield ready to put him down. Yeah, except for Jake Wesker. Well, he's Jake Miller. Mueller? Yeah, it's Jake Mueller. Yeah. I mean, technically, he's a Wesker, though. I mean, if he does anything wrong, then you know. Yeah, Chris is on there, because he's also with oh, Sherry. Yeah. <laughs> but we were talking about it earlier, uh, when we were replaying through everything. Why the fuck did Pierce have to die? Why? He was a really cool character. And they're like, eh, I'll just write him off. I mean, he could have come to terms with his, you know, infection. Sherry did. Mm-hmm. Well, she, she's infected, but she's not infected. She's not overly infected. She's a car she's a carrier. Could you could you imagine though if Piers remained as part of the BSA? With that infection and just like fucking railgun just, dudes. Just imagine like him accidentally cutting another guy though by accident. And the infection is like, oh god. 
I'm responsible for this. <laughs> High five. Shh, there goes your arm. Shit. <laughs> it seemed like... Yeah, we're not even like paying attention to Christ anymore, but it's like... It seems really stupid to introduce a character in one game as, you know, the guy who brings Chris back to everything and then mutate him just so he can die in the last boss fight. You think yeah. it would have made more of an impact if we went through, like, two games, three games with him as a character yeah, and, like, got least, to like him? At least one more game. And got to like him and then have him just die. It's like, if you do it in one game, I'm Dude. like... It was cool, but I mean, I don't really care for the guy. Yeah, I mean, like, it was like with the Expendables, you know, the second one, I think, where the cool sniper just sort of dies. Oh, yeah, uh, Chris Hemsworth's little brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, looked yeah. really similar. Yeah, he was he just, just fucking died. Yeah, that was the thing. Like, in Expendables 2, they were like, hey, we have this sniper on our team. He's a new guy. And, and he's really badass. He's a badass, and he's a young kid, and... And it was like, in the first 15 minutes, he's like, he's the only guy killed by this guy looking for revenge, and I'm like... Why? <laughs> it's like the opening 20 minutes of uh, Expendables 3 where Terry Crews gets shot for no reason. Because <laughs> he wasn't even a... He wasn't even a major... Because the whole thing with Mel Gibson and Stallone in that movie is that they were the guys that started it. Yeah. And everybody they brought in after was somebody who had joined up. So, like, just shooting Crews is like, I'm just going to shoot one of your guys. But, like, he had Wesley Snipes with him, who was one of the originals. He could have mm -hmm. shot Lee Christmas. Like, you should pick Terry Crews for no reason, because I guess he just didn't have the time to be in the movie. <laughs> what did you think? They do, like, a week of filming for his scenes in uh, Somalia, and then the hospital scene, he just lays there. Ah, uh, Claire Redfield. English... James Baker? Is James a female name? I don't think so. Yuri Lowenthal, I'll recognize that guy. Matt Mercer. I am looking this up. James Baker. Matt Where's Mercer. Where's my phone? Oh, uh, your phone is somewhere. Here it is. But Matt Mercer was in this game. Oh, fun. He was probably Neil. He seems like the kind of guy who would voice a person named Neil. Ugh. So five hours later. We had the po we powered through the last two chapters, though. We got really efficient at doing it, too. Oh, man. Okay, so apparently it James is a she. Oh, okay. I mean, I just I've never heard it as a female name. That's why I was confused. Neither have I. That's oh, just Honestly, going a little trippy. Through these, is there any miss? Okay. Next, next gen spores miss. I would want it to be a quality tester. Like so. I, I want just you to sit in this corner and jump 1,000 times. Well, it's just like... Yeah, I mean, they test everything. Yeah. So it's just like, here, play this game for a little bit. Uh, just tell us if there's anything that's wrong. You know, just any glitches you find, stuff like that. Uh, do a bunch of silly shit. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> and just get paid for it, so... Especially for a sandbox game. Yeah. I mean, fucking look at Sonic Boom. <laughs> there were this... <laughs> Game rooms were playing it, and they watched through the credits, and they're like, "Quality insurance." Like, can I write an angry letter to those guys because they <laughs> obviously did not do their job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that fucking scene. Oh yeah. Oh, all of the badassness. Now, if it was like Barry and Claire walking towards the, I would totally like paste our faces onto them for the last uh, thumbnail. <laughs> <sighs> and if they didn't kill him in three, it could have been really sweet if the helicopter pilot was Brad. <laughs> But you know, he got Nemesis in number three. Yeah. He was also in number two. As a zombie. Oh. Uh. You, uh, because two and three take place at the same time. Three takes place a day before two does. Gotcha. And, um, in Resident Evil 2, if you get to the police station in under 10 minutes, you see a Brad Victor zombie in the lower walkway where if you go to it normally he's not there hmm. and it was kind of their uh, their way of spoiling what was happening in 3 and then they just felt the need to kill him in 3 so <laughs> he didn't do much like he complained in Resident Evil 1 and then he didn't show up in 2 and then 3 he's just complaining again scared as shit of the nemesis <laughs> so he got a uh, tentacle through the face yeah. which uh 
I think he could have been a cool character, like redeemed. But nah. But let's see what we get. Because we got goodies at the end of the bad playthrough. Oh, oh, post credits. All right, stars. <laughs> you don't. Okay, so this uh, takes place as six as six is going on. Uh, okay, so yeah, the epilogue to this this game takes place just before six. Okay. So that's where that is in the timeline. Present. Ah, uh, suburbia. Watching the next Resident Evil game take place in like Barry's neighborhood. Dad, no. And he has to like get his family out of the neighborhood. Yep. So this is the events of uh, this is the events of six. She tells Pierce to take care of Chris, but Chris should have taken care of Pierce. <laughs> yeah, he did adopt her. And the bear's back. Yay! Apparently, uh, we have a chapter with her and that bear. Apparently, because we have the uh, campaign, and then we have the two bonus stories. The bird is gone. What is this? Is she still Alex? I mean, I imagine if she dies too early, probably. End episode four. Yay! In the mine sub level without taking damage. Oh god damn it! No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Enemies in the clear the level by moving the crane. No more. Oh, okay, that's that one. Uh oh yeah, that was at the very start of the, the ship. crane. Oh, so that means not going for any of the uh. B. Sniper Claire costume, Monster Alex, second fight figurine. Thanks. Concept R4, Super Bounty Hunter. Remnant figure. Not in the face. <laughs> 1,000 BP. Cool. Nice. We did it. We yeah. finished another Bro Op series to its fullest. Yay! High five. To its truest. To its truest. Let's look at the extras. I want to see this, uh. Claire figure, actually. Sniper Claire? Yeah. Uh, up there. Uh, Sniper Claire. Oh, that's just the costume. Oh. Uh, figurines? No, we didn't get it. No, okay. Well, it's not like we're ever gonna play this game again. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We complete all game records. Survival difficulty higher now. Hope for the future. Good ending. Yay! Speed episode, six cents. So, yeah. Oh god, aren't there bonus episodes? There are. Um, yeah, there's... If we go to the campaign, we have The Struggle and Little Miss as two bonus ones. Oh goody. Well, we'll come back to those. Eventually. Eventually. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed Resident Evil Revelations 2. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.